Hey guys and girls. So today I want to talk to you about uh, windshield washer sprayers. This happens to be a 2010 Ford Fusion. And please excuse Mr. Sammy Blue Jay over there. Probably shouldn't have thrown down some peanuts for him. Anyways, um, this is the wife's car. She was having some issues with uh, windshield washer spraying. It's starting to get cold now, as you can see by all the snow. I figured that it was frozen. So I did a little bit of troubleshooting and yep, there's the Blue Jay eating the peanut. Yeah, that wasn't a wise idea. Anyways, um, thought maybe it was frozen. Did a little bit of troubleshooting. I happened to have the hood up and, and hit the sprayer and I noticed that it was really, really leaking bad in one spot. Um, so basically I looked at uh, the sprayers and found that it had actually broken in two. This was this part here was the part that's supposed to be hooked up to the hose. So it had actually separated and was just spraying in the engine bay. So I went and looked at the other one. I actually just kind of MacGyvered something together so she had one sprayer that was working. But when I took this one out today, I found that even this one was all brittle and was ready to fail at any point. So I went to Ford. I picked up brand new nozzle jet i think they call it their jet so this is a brand new one i figured i would change two of them uh they were about nine something canadian which is not terrible but definitely not worth that price let's put it that way so what i did is i came under here you can pull this pull this piece of uh, insulation sound mat back and you can see there's the end of the hose so all you're gonna do you release these tabs on the original one and we're just going to basically come in here put it in sideways twist it around click it in just like that there's a little there's actually a little rubber grommet on this so that the uh, water and everything doesn't leak back in and cause any rust issues and then basically all you're going to do I'm going to try to do this while showing you guys, or not. All you do is you just slide the hose back on, and it's just got a little barb, barb fitting in there. So it slides on, and then you can just tuck this matting back underneath this little clip here, and you're done. So hopefully that maybe helps you guys troubleshoot some issues uh, with Ford vehicles, not only the Ford Fusion, but other Fords. Because I'm assuming that if it's happened to this vehicle, it's going to happen to another one. Like I said, this is the 2010 Fusion, so it's got some age on it, but I don't think it should break like that. But here we are. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Comments are always appreciated. Thanks, guys.